Welcome back to the Frontier channel. This is gonna be the third video on the channel, and this one in particular is gonna be pretty different from both the first video, which introduced everything, and the last video that went into the storyline. This is actually going to be going in the, the history of Frontier's development up until this point. I think you guys will be really interested in this. And I think there's kind of a lot to say and there's a lot to, a little bit to talk about and uh, I just thought this would be such a, a really interesting video that uh, Anyone who's interested in the game or its development would uh, be interested in with this little intro out the way Let's start Before Frontier was taken seriously, it was a prototype in Blender. It was a simple FPS scene in the Blender game engine, and I was messing around with some bloom scripts trying to get one of the gun parts to glow, along with his projectiles. Around this time, I also was big into a game called Minimum, and had a similar art style to mine, and I really enjoyed the gameplay, and wanted to make an FPS version of it, but with my own spin to it. It's important to note too, I had no real set in stone story or lore at this point. This was just a pure prototype on Blender. When I first showed the game off, it was in a very early alpha state. Back then it had swimming, ledge grabbing, and just other smaller mechanics back then that isn't in the Unity version now. I had shown some really big updates every time I had went into the game and added and changed stuff. Uh, I did that all on my old gaming channel and it even had some viewers that would watch them and I got some good encouragement from them and I got some really cool feedback. First, kind of how I kind of developed the game was I developed the movement of the player first then I developed some vehicles with some weapons in it. And like, for some examples for some vehicles, in the Blender version, I had a tank back then with uh, a massive cannon and some fast firing laser cannons. And then I just had, uh, I had a skid as one of them too. And then another one, I had like a cycle. There was all kinds of different stuff that I did back then in those really, really early kind of states that I was kind of having a lot of fun with. Just pretty much all kinds of vehicles were made. It was, a, it was a ton of fun. And I can't wait to finally get all these things into Unity's version at some point, you know, with some changes here and there. I can't wait to do that. And just to let you guys know, back then there was a total of 13 vehicles. So yeah, there was quite a lot of stuff in the game. Uh, I added some weapons after that, weapons that your character would actually hold in the FPS, you know, that would be held in their hands. I also added a system called tactical weapons, and those were grenades and mines and traps, and even throwable and deployable turrets, and if anyone had seen Minimum before, that was kind of paying homage to Minimum because of how much I enjoyed that mechanic, throwing out something that would kind of conform and configure into a turret, I really liked that, that was really something I liked a lot, so I made it something similar. After I kind of went through all the tactical weapons and stuff, I eventually updated the environment, which is adding a skybox, adding procedural clouds, adding in uh, weather is another thing. I added rain and clouding, a cloud and storms and lightning. I added all those kinds of interesting stuff into the, into the world that would naturally happen throughout the, throughout the course of the uh, day. And I completely also revamped post-processing effects at the very end. And pretty much, I was having a ton of fun. I was getting lots of views, I w or not a lot of views, but I was getting some a good amount of views I was happy with, and I felt like things were moving on, and I was thinking maybe this game that was just a prototype could maybe grow into something that's more than that, but something happened in development that kind of halted all of that.
What happened was, I hit the limits of the Blender game engine, and I was also having to build non-existent systems in Blender so that some mechanics could even work in the first place. There were graphics and compatibility problems since Blender's OpenGL versions were so dated and old with, with newer GPUs. There is no native networking in Blender, so I would have to build native networking programming into the engine to even get multiplayer to work. The engine, as it, set, as it stands, could barely run my game even though I optimized it in every way possible by pretty much the last update. Once I added all the post-processing effects and I added everything in, the game was barely being able to hold itself just because Blender can't handle that much in its game engine. And to make matters worse, Blender had a tendency of causing player animations to break, causing the character to be frozen in certain poses and states mid-animation, which was another very annoying thing that I was hoping to find a solution for, but I never could. I was willing to fix all of these things in the engine myself, and realized it was a totally just futile attempt. There was it was just not going to work. There was too many problems with the engine, and as the only developer for this, and really realizing this, I felt defeated. And as you can imagine, I no longer continued development. I announced this on my channel, and I ended this project there. Project Frontier, at this point, felt like just a pipe dream that was trying to become something, but never really did. But after a few months of leaving my old YouTube channel and stopping development on Frontier, I began to kind of move out of that depressing rut. Months after stopping, I revisited the old Blender files. I realized how janky the game was, getting 10 FPS lag spikes out of nowhere. Driving the vehicles, I had so much fun in. Throwing infinite mines, then driving a vehicle into it and watching it explode was hilarious. War running and swimming, just looking at what I accomplished, just kind of looking at what I managed to do. The uphill battle that I kind of had building all this stuff on my own. And looking at it, it gave me a sense of hope. Being a bit dejected and a bit depressed from many months of work kind of thrown out really threw me for a loop. But after revisiting this, I went on a new mindset in mission to revive Project Frontier. I searched and I went through some game engines and because the workflow speed mattered so much for me over realistic graphics, I eventually went with Unity. So with pure passion and devotion, I just pushed myself consistently to try and learn Unity in about a month or two. And then I began porting over everything and recoding it all from Blender to Unity all in C Sharp. And I gained confidence and no longer felt any kind of dejected feelings that I felt before. And from here, I just felt like everything was beginning to revive itself. I felt that now that I had the knowledge and the experience, and now I finally have the engine to support what I want to build. So this, I felt, everything now is actually attainable. It's possible. I just have to keep working at it. I added, changed, and learned a lot about the game to the point that... The game that was just a minimum fan project in a sense, that was with some minor changes here and there, completely became something else. It really began to gain its own unique identity away from what I originally had it of. It began to really become something that was just special and unique and new. And I added a storyline, changed the old concepts, by a lot and created a fantasy sci-fi fps game with a low poly art style and i feel this was the time the game was really given a true identity i want to go in detail all the things that was currently going to be in now and is currently in right now but that would make everything a lot longer so i'm gonna just 
just take a note here and say I'm going to go into those things but that'll be for a different video at a different time because that would take that would make this video way too long trust me on that one in the future of frontier we'll be going into it in a future outlook sense <laughs> Frontier as it stands is in a good state, a state that is infinitely better than Blender's old versions. While there are some bugs, obviously, because it's deep in development, there are some issues, there's tons of little gameplay issues, everything could infinitely be better. If anything, right now, it's in a proof of concept state, but I still think it's an infinitely better state than Blender Red Wolves. Changing every aspect of the game in Unity, and I've been keeping the original Soul Frontier intact, but I've been making it more unique and more interesting. It's having a real good story and, you know, just things like that. I feel like overall Frontier's future is quite bright. And I'm really interested to see how things are going to move forward now with your feedback and showing it to an audience. Unlike, you know, I've, because since this is the first time I've shown Unity's version on YouTube, I'm, I'm interested to see what people will say about this. It's really beginning now to have all of its systems, and it's beginning to actually kind of function as a game, which is something that I'm finally glad to see. And for the new people who've just seen this video, just known I've existed, just known this channel exists, I'd like to thank you guys for stumbling upon this video and watching it to its entirety, because I'm just a stranger on the internet, and I didn't, and I, I think it's nice of you to have given me the time of day to listen to this entire video beginning to end. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe onto my YouTube channel. This is mainly my most wanted way for you guys to support me. I don't want any donations. Uh, I just want you guys to, to subscribe to the channel so that you can share it to other people. I want the game to get exposure. That's the thing. I really want this game to get exposure and to do that, I need people to subscribe and share and just kind of... Just let others know, you know, if you, if anyone out there is interested in indie game development, um, just, you know, just shoot them over, over here. I've tried my best. I got quite a lot of, uh, uh, experience on my own, just kind of messing with personal projects and stuff like that. And, um, I'm also looking for any really good feedback too. Of course, I always looking for good feedback. I'm always open to constructive criticism with anything never be afraid to tell me i'm wrong with something or something looks bad and something needs to be better or something could sound better just again let me know and that doesn't extend just to the game that also extends to my editing too you know just let me know let me know i really am i i really want to know these things so that i can always improve also too before i end it off i want you guys to also follow my twitter it's in the description at Frontier War, you can follow that. I have some like uh, tweets there that I just kind of post every once in a while. I try to do it a little bit more frequently. Uh, like I did one with an update with the weapon update recently. So you guys can follow that if you want to. And then I also have an IndieDB that is just for blogging, extra blogging. If you don't have an IndieDB and you don't visit the website, don't even worry about it. But if you do, um, go ahead and just take a peek at it before I get off real quick is that I am going to be getting surgery next week so I might be out for about two weeks uh, if I ever do post a video or something I'm probably will make it a silent video I won't be able to talk I'm getting surgery in my mouth so yeah I'm gonna gonna be really out of it for a while so this may be the last video for just a little bit a little while but uh, I'll try and stay active as I possibly can. Uh, and in the, in the next videos, I got some other stuff planned. I hope you guys are excited for that. I'm going to talk about uh, what's in the game right now. I'm going to talk about that uh, in the next videos and what I'm going to have in the future. Uh, what my development path is looking at right now. And what's going to be on the chopping block in a specific order. And all those really cool stuff I think it's important for you guys to know. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Again, thank you all for your support. And again, don't be afraid to leave a comment. I'll see you guys later. And I hope you guys have a great day.